Hello everyone, I'm Mrs. Rekha Hassan, Assistant Professor of English, Government First Grade College, Kavu, Mangalore. The novel Nampali Road by Meena Alexander, prescribed for BBA Sem 4 of Mangalore University with the text title Compulsory Foundation Course in English. This day we are going to study chapter 6 Ramiza Bay. Before going to the chapter 6, let's have a quick recap of uh, chapter 5 Wordsworth in Hyderabad. We studied about uh, Mira, her teaching in the classroom, a makeshift of the classroom. This was a converted bedroom, which was uh, once had been the home of Sarojini Naidu. And uh, Mira's uh, teaching in her classroom where we find uh, her students with the name Saubhagyavati, Bakshi, and uh, the very bold Chandrika. Chandrika was uh, open to the critical of uh, some of uh, Mera's speculations, and she was uh, the daughter of a uh, secretary of uh, Subhash Chandra Bose of early 20s. Chandrika had observed the politicians, their way of life, their nature, their relation with the public, just like uh, Limka Gauda, the chief minister of Hyderabad, who, using the name of a Gandhian philosopher, Gandhian principles, to gain votes. Then Mira, her thoughts are shifted to the Sagar Takis, where uh, along with the little mother watched a documentary movie, and uh, where they saw the clippings, the command, which was uh, shown in a little episode, that uh, shows the moral, that gives the moral message to the audience, just like uh, not to smoke, not to drink, and so on. At the end of the documentary, they find the film clip of Gandhi just before the Salt March uh, started. And uh, there was a quick image of a Limka Gauda, who was found in Khadi, standing at the edge of the post office in Hyderabad. With the occurrence of his image, people started shouting, calling him the father of Hyderabad. This was highlighted, and uh, the hundreds of uh, peasants were driven from miles away because uh, they were brought to them with the promise that they will be given free meals. Then uh, we see the discussion between Amira and her students regarding the romantic age and the uh, link between Limka and the kind of poetry she loved. She tried her best to enrage her students, to know the opinion of the students regarding the protest and uh, the incident happened at the Nampani Road. Through this discussion, she wanted to bring her frustrations out of her mind 
because uh, the classroom would be a safer place which unfolds the open mind of both the teacher and the students. When they were uh, continuing with the discussion, Ramu runs through the door of her classroom and takes her out in a hurried way. They rush to the Gauleguda police station and also tells her that uh, Durga Bai, the little mother, is ill, but uh, she is with Rani and Apothecary. With this, the previous chapter, Worsworth in Hyderabad, comes to an end. And we are in now chapter 6 with the title Ramiza Bay, session 18. In this chapter, Mina Alexander brings out the corrupt officials who use their power to suppress the voices against the politicians. It unravels the game of politics of 1970s India. The police and the police department are meant to safeguard the public life and the property commit an inexcusable crime of raping a woman called Rami Zabe. While Ramu and Meera were on their way to the police station, they happened to see many people hanging around. Beggars sitting in the temple courtyard waiting for a handful of grain, small children clinging to their mothers, at the crossroads of uh, Mirror Mahal, Ramu and Meera saw a cobbler busy with work. Meera was uh, unaware of Ramu's intention of taking her out of uh, Sona Nivas. She came to know on the way that little mother was ill. Instead of rushing to see the little mother, Ramu held her tight and took her to the Gauleguda police station. Before uh, reaching the police station, they had passed the new Mysore cafe and uh, rounded the railway station where they saw sandalwood and incense sellers, rickshaw drivers carrying out their work, fisher wives, and vegetable sellers calling the customers to buy their things. Finally, when they reached the police station, already a small crowd gathered, agitated about the unresolved action. With a loud martial cry led by a kabaddi master, who was uh, proud of his art, turned his body into the prison, exerting a huge pressure on the arm muscles, followed by scores of men and women thrust hard against the doors of the police station to, to push themselves inside the police station. Easily stream of people burst up the stone steps where two knights Earlier, the policeman had dragged Ramiza Bay. Ramu and Meera, they also struggled to enter the police station. Later, we are uh, given the description of uh, the police station, how old it was, and when it was constructed. This police station was pretty old built by the British in the style of uh, cantonment architecture. Stone steps, a gracious veranda, white pillars, all whitewashed to keep out the heat of the sun. Then they were led to the main room, which was empty. Only 
found with the tables and chairs where they saw the images of Gandhi and Nehru. With this, we come to the end of uh, session 18. If you want to have a further reading, you can go to the text compulsory foundation course in English for the BBA degree programs and four. Thank you one and all and have a nice day.